Hi, and thanks for watching Daily Dose. We are Katie and Paul from the Feel Good family, and we're here to share our healthy family adventures with you. Now, this week we have chosen vetiver, mm. absolute favourite in our household. Oh, sure is. Now, vetiver oil has been used in traditional medicine in Southeast Asia and West Africa for thousands of years. Wow. It's native to India, and both its leaves and roots have wonderful uses. Now, vetiver is known as a sacred herb, mm -hmm. valued because of its uplifting, soothing, healing, and protective properties. It's also a natural body cooler, making yeah. it extremely popular in tropical countries. In fact, in India and Sri Lanka, it's known as the oil of tranquility. How good is that sound? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> now, vetiver oil has been used in Ayurvedic medicine uh -huh. for thousands of years. In these treatments, vetiver oil is used to treat imbalances and heal health disorders like muscular aches, fevers, arthritis, pain, wow. and headaches. And one interesting use, vetiver essential oil was used in massaging brides to sanctify them before marriage. Because of its cleansing and therapeutic properties, mm -hmm. it's known to heal a person from within. How cool is that? Very cool. Yeah. Now, this is interesting. The vetiver grass can grow up to five feet high the stems are tall and the leaves are long and thin. The flowers are a brownish purple colour and unlike most root systems, the roots of vetiver grass grow downward and can go as deep as eight feet. Wow. Which is actually a lot <laughs> deeper than, <laughs> than, than most tree roots. Now, the perfume industry introduced vetiver grass to Haiti in the 1930s and even though the soil in Haiti lacks the nutrients needed to grow most food, vetiver thrives in these harsh conditions. Um, it's also quite labour intensive to produce because vetiver requires 16 to 18 months of the roots to mature mm -hmm. and then not only must the plant be dug out of the ground but the dirt must also be beaten out of the roots now vetiver has a rich exotic and complex aroma that is used extensively in perfumes as I mentioned and is considered to be the be among the most complex of essential oils Wow, amazing mm. okay so here's our top five tips for adding the amazing vetiver essential oil to your daily dose okay number one relax with a massage mm, yes please, please. <laughs> <laughs> due to vetiver's calming grounding effect on the emotions it is an ideal oil to use in massage therapy you can blend with fractionated coconut oil for that soothing and mm. relaxing massage Sounds good Okay, soak away your stress. Oh, if you've got a bath, have a warm bath with a few drops of vetiver and just enjoy that deep relaxation. Perfect. Mm, so good. Okay, you can also diffuse um, to balance and relax. So try diffusing vetiver with either lavender, lavender mm. peace or balance mm. to provide a sense of balance while calming the oh, emotions. Beautiful combinations. Mm. Okay, now deep sleep. We all want that, right? So apply <laughs> vetiver to the bottoms of your feet before bedtime to promote a sense of relaxation and really promote that deep sleep. Or on your two-year-old's feet. Yes. <laughs> How about enjoy a cuppa? Now you can add one or two drops of vetiver to tea or to hot drinks during winter time, particularly oh. for that soothing and relaxing oh, wow. cuppa. Beautiful. Okay, so there you have it, our top five uses for vetiver essential oil. Now, as you know, we're going to focus on a new essential oil every week. So make sure you subscribe to the Feel Good Family YouTube channel and actually think the link's above to keep okay. up to date with all of our videos. All right, well, thank you again for watching Daily Dose. Make sure that you are using your oils every day, um, not only to look after yourself, of course, but to look after your family. And uh, we'll see you next week for our next Daily Dose. Okay, so this is Paul's favourite. Yeah. Next week we're going to be doing frankincense, which is my favourite.